Hey everybody, my name is John Fisher. Welcome to ImmuneShield.tv. I want to talk about healthy living. <sighs> and let me tell you something. I grew up in Havana, Cuba. And uh, let me tell you, man, we used to eat fried pork, chicharrones. And we used to have the, uh, oh my God, the food was absolutely delicious. But uh, everything was fried. And uh, we had the flan and we had the, um, uh, you know, it was just unbelievable. And um, as I got older, I started realizing that, you know, this stuff could become problematic. Matter of fact, um, I ended up with a six tubal bypass in 2001. Um, they went for the seventh artery and they couldn't uh, put a stent in there. And I actually had a heart attack. Uh, died on the table. And uh, they paddled me, patched me back up again. And, you know, one of the things that worked for me was I've been taking this um, enzyme for... Um, you know, a long time, about 25, 30 years, and uh, when they opened me up, the uh, surgeon, who used to be George Bush Sr. surgeon, said, uh, you know, what What do you take? Uh, you know, I noticed that when we uh, bypassed you, that main Widowmaker had collateral arteries, a bunch of little spider arteries. I mean, you should have been dead, you know, years ago, and uh, somehow those little arteries still were able to maintain, you know, blood flow to your heart. You know, what do you take? You know, and I was telling him about, you know, all the enzymes I, t I take, and I, and I told him about the, uh, <coughs> specifically, you know, the uh, enzymes. And uh, he said, man, it's amazing stuff. You know, I'd like to read up more about it because uh, I got to tell you, you know, you should have you died. I don't, you were a dead man walking. I don't know how the hell you survived having, uh, you know, six, you know, arteries, actually seven arteries stuffed up. Widowmaker, 99% blockage, you know, so... You know, when you talk about healthy living, you know, it's important to understand that uh, as we get older and older, and older, the, the road narrows, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm approaching 70 years old, and i got to tell you something, i got to be real careful with what I eat. Uh, if it's not the gout, you know, and, uh, and I get the gout from having uric acid, and the uric acid is from taking too much uh, protein. Uh, so if it's not the gout, you know, then I've got problems with... Um, uh, acid reflux, you know, that's because of, uh, you know, I'm too acidic. So I've got to watch my alkalinity and watch my, uh, my, uh, my acid levels, you know. So i got to be careful when I eat, how much protein am I taking, how much, uh, you know, vegetables am I taking, how much uh, uh, starch and, and cholesterol am I taking. And you know what, it starts to catch up with you. It's something that, that's important. Part of my uh, healthy living is um, taking uh, these products. I take the, um, the plant enzymes. I take the actual plant sterols. <coughs> Excuse me. Shoot a lot of videos, dries out my throat, and I cough a lot. And of course, there's the red algae that it's um, probably one of the best antioxidants out there right now. You know, so, you know, my whole healthy living is based on the foods I eat. And trust me, I'm not perfect. You know, I've just recently pretty much got... I love sugar. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. And uh, I'm stupid. I still reward myself with sugar. And I'm actually killing myself. I mean, when I don't eat sugar and I wake up in the morning, I'm not stiff. I'm not hurting. When I eat sugar, I can feel it, man. Sometimes in the morning, the back of my legs hurt. You know, my legs are stiff. You know, my you know, the arthritis. You know, the body's all tightened up. And, you know, it's really self-destructive behavior. But that's another story. Um, you know, so... You know, little by little, I'm uh, figuring this whole thing out, and I am making a positive, you know, move. I mean, I'm going to the right direction, and, uh, you know, I, I take a lot of supplements. I believe in the zinc. I believe in CoQ10. You know, I believe in magnesium. When I first got my operation, they wanted to put a pacemaker in. I got on the Internet, and I found out that uh, there's a possibility that the conductor magnesium that I had low quantities of and the uh, potassium. And I went ahead and I had my blood tested, and I said to my doctor, so what kind of magnesium levels do, you have, do I have? And he goes, very, very low. I said, well, how about we prescribe magnesium? I'll go ahead and buy them at, you know, Amazon. And guess what? You know, within weeks, I wasn't throwing off any more triples. So I saved myself having to have a pacemaker in my heart. You know, and I don't trust doctors. I'm sorry, I don't. I just don't. You know, and there's a lot of good information on the Internet. And, uh, and i got to tell you something. Healthy living... Is a, is a way of life and it's a responsibility that we must take on and by taking products from immune shield you know taking the various the probiotics the plant sterols the enzymes uh, the heart algae which is in my opinion you know 
the best uh, uh, antioxidant out there. You know, the sterols are great for stress and, uh, and they're great for uh, inflammation and uh, blocking cholesterol. You know, and, and the enzymes, my God, I mean, uh, you know something, if you ever want to see how bad ass, how badass these things are, you know, you go ahead and, uh, you know, when you have a full meal and, uh, and you get home and you're bloated and you feel gassy and, and, and you fall asleep, you, you, you know, you pretty much pass out. You want to know what that's about? It's a real simple explanation. And, you know, Ron's the, uh, the brainiac. I mean, Ron's unbelievable. Uh, I'm surprised I could keep up with him. And I do. I think I got 95% of what he says I understand. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I got this, the keep it simple, stupid uh, version. And you know what? The body doesn't have enough live enzymes. You know, and what happens with these uh, enzymes is it uh, allows the body to properly digest the food. If you don't take the enzymes, in my opinion... It's borrowing enzymes from the liver. It's borrowing enzymes from the various other organs. And what happens? The body falls asleep. It shuts down. Why? It cannot continue to operate without the actual enzyme. So, um, again, if you're looking to uh, really be involved in healthy living and start you know, taking care of yourself, uh, take a look at ImmuneShield.tv. A lot of products, especially the probiotics. And, uh, you know, you got to become a believer in these supplements because, you know what? Unless you're eating nothing but vegetables and fruit, you know, maybe you're a pescatarian and you're really, really doing that, you know, you may be in good shape, but most of us aren't, and we need to take this product to supplement, and, uh, and it works like a champ. i got to tell you something. I take a lot of medication because of my heart. I had a six-double bypass in 2001. I took my liver, my labs, my ACT and ALT, I think it was, I don't know, eight months ago. Uh, eight months, I guess it was uh, October minus eight, so that's uh, three, March of last year. And I even posted them on ImmuneShield.tv and look at my liver levels, you know. And, and that's not scientific. That's me. I went ahead and showed you my, my labs and what this has done for my, my liver. Now, we can't make any kind of claims, but I'll tell you something. You start taking this product and uh, you're going to say, wow, John, it's amazing. Why did you tell me this and why did you tell me that? Because Big Pharma don't want you to say anything, you know. So we really got to be careful about how we promote this product. So just tell them John Fisher told you the stuff really works good. <laughs> you have any questions, call me, 561-239-0364. Thank you for your time. If you got any questions, feel free to call me. God bless and have a beautiful day.